Hello, my name is Bogdan. I'm the owner of the NL Sharp. And for the next 10 minutes, I will show you all the basics you need to know about uh, Sharp scheduler. So what is the problem with the standard DNN scheduler? Well, there are a lot of problems, but the biggest two are that you cannot uh, say to a job to run at a particular day and date and time. So you cannot say to a job, run Saturday night. You only can uh, run it on an interval every five minutes. And the other major problem, problem is that you cannot create new jobs easily from the administration UI. You have to uh, have a programmer and uh, develop a new assembly, copy it to the dynamic site, configure it here, which takes some time and resources. So what we did, we built a new module that is a task scheduler that eliminates these two big problems and also uh, provides more customization power and also a framework that can be easily extended in the future with new um, with new triggers and new tasks to be done. So I, I'll start by creating a new job. A job is basically a collection of triggers so you can have multiple trigger triggers executing the same job and a list of action which is the list of um, task to perform when the job triggers. So I will start my job by creating a new trigger and here you have um, application events and time triggers. And also we have a framework to extend it to new types of triggers and in the future you will see for example triggers that uh, catch events like uh, user wh when a user was created or uh, when a user logged in or other events from the .NET website. For now, I will just create some time, time events. So let's say that I, wa I want to, a job to run daily. And here I can choose which days I want to run. And also a time of day. And I can also choose what happens if the job cannot be executed at that time. This could, could happen, for example, if the website is down at that time or if um, there are not enough threads to run a new job. So I can choose that here. and. What I can do, I can, I can create any number of triggers. And I can create a one-time trigger and this say I want to run it on 30 at 30 a.m. And, and then I can also add an application event. I also want this to run on application start and so on. We also have a very interesting type of trigger which is called cron trigger. And this is basically a cron expression which lets you do more advanced stuff. Like for example, you could say uh, you can have a trigger that fires every five minutes between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. every Wednesday and Friday. You can do that with a cron trigger. And you can create any number of cron tri triggers or other types of triggers. So you can create quite a complex schedule for a job. And then when a trigger fires, the job ex is executed. And this means the, the list of action that is defined in the job is executed. And for example, I would uh, run an SQL query and I prepare, actually prepare the table, a simple table that is called a test that has an ID and a name column. So I'll just insert into a test and I'll just in insert the name because the ID is a primary column, is an identity column. And I will just insert my name. And you can actually create multiple actions and also stack them. When you stack them like this, it affects the order in which they are executed. And this is important, for example, if one job depends on the other of the response of one job resp uh, uh, is used in a later action. For example, for the run SQL query, I could save the ID that is returned by the identity column. So I would have to write something like sel select um, scope identity. So I could do that and have the response stored in an ID and this one I could use later like this ID. So th this is like a token construct. And you can add any number of actions and stack them in a way that makes sense for what you're trying to achieve. But I will keep things uh, rather simple for this example. So I have two actions and four triggers. I will save this job. 
now I'm back to the main screen and you can see the job um, with next run when it will run next last run when it run and uh, the status and in this case it was a failure so I'll go back to edit and probably I forgot a token here I will save this and I can al uh, I also have the option to run it manually so I can run this job now and I will see the status here and it should update any minutes so now it was a success and it also told me that it ran 3 milliseconds so it was quite fast and I also have the option to, to run a job through the web service and you have a URL here you can just right, right click it, copy the link and invoke this um, job programmatically from another application finally before concluding this uh, getting started guide I want to show you this import job from DNN and here you can basically migrate the schedule the existing schedule for DNN so for example if I migrate purge side log it created a new job for me and here you will notice that it took the schedule to repeat on interval that it was defined in the DNN schedule and also uh, notice that there is a, an action called run DNN job and here you can actually select uh, one of the DNN jobs so that is how we achieve integration so you can uh, create any job and run any number of DNN jobs and this way you can get the functionality from DNN schedule to run on the uh, time schedule on the intervals and triggers of sharp scheduler so it's a very important integration and one thing to notice is that this uh, sharp scheduler stopped the schedules from the, the new schedule so they don't run twice so it's important to know that the import function will stop schedule uh, in DNN and uh, another important integration that we have is with our uh, search boost module so basically starting now it's possible to index content granularly and that means index only a certain folder on a particular schedule and index a custom rule uh, with another schedule so for example I want a folder that I know is critical to index it every two minutes and then I have a page or a set of pages that I know will update very often and I want to index them every two minutes and the rest I can just index it once a day and this will make it very easy to control this and that's it thanks for your time and I hope you decide to use uh, our short scheduler module.